ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned earlier, from Bahrain and from Malaysia, you see Malaysia as part of Harvard Extra Model, Malaysia Singapore Initiative Public Life Series. This program involved the participation of professors from Harvard University and is co-organized by UKM, Harvard University Asia Centre, and Lam King Chong Wong Sanctuary Fund. Without further ado, I would like to invite Yang Bahagia from Tan Sri Dr. Mira Lokshan Bahapsa Sengasa Shabudin, Vice Chancellor UKM, to welcome our speakers and introduce them to the audience this afternoon. May I welcome Professor Byron Good and Professor Mary Jo Del Vecchio. Good from Harvard University. And of course, Dr. Ho Hao Wong, the Honorary Advisor of Harvard University Asia Center, and Dr. Lam Kim Chung, the founder and chairman of the Lam Kim Chung Morning Sun Charity Fund, which is very much associated with this lecture series. Uh, I would like to also welcome our special guests who are from other medical schools who are, who are here with us today. Uh, and formerly also the Deputy Director General of Health. And he is Dr. Dr. Magad, he is sitting right in front there, Burhanuddin. But currently he is with Massa University College as a CEO and the Vice Chancellor. And of course, colleagues from the medical faculty who are out here as well. Good afternoon and a very warm welcome. This is the fourth lecture of the Harvard Ezra Vogel Public Lecture Series. Uh, and this is a Malaysia Singapore initiative hosted by UKM in Malaysia and uh, NTU in Singapore. I believe you just come from NTU. Sometimes it's KL first and then NTU, and sometimes it's the other way around. But I've heard from Anthony Pio, so I know you've been there. Um, this is sponsored by the Lam Kim Chung Morning Sun Charity Fund, which is based in Hong Kong. And this time we are honoured because Dr. Lam has come himself. Usually he would just send Desmond, who is now sitting down there. <laughs> and this lecture series is named after Professor Ezra Vogel, who has served as director of the Harvard University Asia Centre some time ago. So Dr. Lam, thank you for your vision in trying to strengthen Harvard University's link um, with universities across Southeast Asia and Asia, beginning, of course, with Singapore and Malaysia. <coughs> we are, of course, uh, proud to be associated with the Harvard uh, Asia Center. We do keep in touch uh, with all the speakers who have come. And just to update you, I know you saw outside there, we have Professor Sugata Boss in October 2009, uh, followed by Professor Tu Wai Ming, and Professor Dennis Incarnation, uh, October uh, last year. And today, of course, we have two more very distinguished distinguished speakers here, uh, Dr. Byron J. Good and Dr. Mary Jo Delvich. Thank you. I got it right the first time. <laughs> um, the topic given to me is slightly different from what you have up there. That looks very, very interesting. Uh, Medicine's Modernist Project, uh, Comparative Reflections on Global Challenges, uh, Local Realities. And of course, we have our colleagues from the Medical Center. Uh, also, I think on them, this saw him this afternoon. Uh, and uh, they are all here to, uh, and also I think from the humanities, they have a very strong interest in this, and social sciences. And, and in UKM, as you can see from the video a while ago, we promote interdisciplinary studies. Uh, an example in, on the medical side would be the relation cohort study, for example, uh, by the Medical Molecular Biology Institute which looks at the interaction of genes, environment, and lifestyle style in causing diseases. So, um, and we have many other examples um, as shown there, where it's not just about science, but also the social science, impact on communities, studying communities, uh, including uh, indigenous populations, as you can see the one on the lake in the boats. 
Now I want to introduce these two professors. Let me first begin with uh, Dr. Byron Good, Professor of Medical Anthropology, and formerly you were um, Chair and Director of the Program in Global Mental Health. Uh, Department of Social Medicine at Harvard University, Harvard Medical School. And now you are director of the International Mental Health Training Program, a very important one, I think, uh, which trains psychiatrists from China in mental health services research. Um, this uh, working on the understanding of the early phases of psychotic illness and care uh, in different parts of the world. So I think we, we, we will look forward very much to hear about the interrelationship between culture, uh, social forms, politics, and psych psychiatric disorders. And uh, Dr. Mary Jo Del Vecchio, uh, comparative psychologist, so I think that's where the word comparative comes from. Um, professor of Social Medicine, Department of Global Health and Social Medicine at Harvard Medical School. But you are also holding many other positions uh, in the other centers in Harvard, I believe. And you are a member of the steering committee for Middle Eastern Studies, Global Health, Islamic Studies, and Special Concentrations. By the way, uh, the United Nations Institute of Global Health uh, is on our campus, in the medical campus. Um, the, your research on culture and political economy of biomedicine, biotechnology, and bioethics um, <coughs> come through, I think, in today's, uh, up, uh, today's lecture. And both of you have been responsible for a program uh, training postdoctoral uh, <coughs> scholars in medicine and psychiatric anthropology for almost 34 years. So. And I'm told also you are not um, a um, foreigner to this region. You, uh, you have worked with the International Organization for Migration to evaluate the mental health status of communities in post-tsunami and post-conflict Arctic. And that's very near to us. You have also helped to develop the mental health <coughs> services for them. And um, in addition, Dr. Mary Jo Del Vecchio was also Fulbright Medical <coughs> Scholar at Gajah Mada University, which is a collaborative partner of UPM. And we look forward to your um, ideas about um, your projects and your collaborating with them on bioethics, impact of patient death on physicians, on physician and psychiatrist responses to disaster. I'm really looking forward to this afternoon's um, lecture because we live in a multicultural environment in both, both our countries. And even here, when we 